Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus and for Taurus cross watchers, okay? So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Taurus. And this is going to be for the second half of March. The child. New beginning for some of you. Something that starts out innocent. It's playfulness. It's learning something new. It's curiosity. Some of you, it also is finding out you're pregnant. Or finding out you got somebody pregnant. Gorgeous card number 13 is transformation. Something could have happened Friday the 13th for you. People say it's a bad day, bad, unlucky number. But, you know, to witches and spiritual people and, you know, a lot of civilizations back in the day, the 13th is a lucky number. And Friday the 13th brought luck. So some of you, something really important could have happened on the 13th. <coughs> some of you here could have been breaking free, ending, letting yourself go from a karmic situation. You have here the anchor and you have the grave. The anchor weighs us down. The grave, there's nothing there. It's dead, right? Dead weight. Could have been in a karmic relationship or somebody was in a karmic relationship and he was weighed down or in something that it just was dead already, okay? Something flipped and it's the fox. The fox is about deception, treachery, manipulation, trying to be clever. Be careful of that kind of an energy. I don't know if that's the kind of energy this person was in as far as his karmic relationship goes or if that's something that this, you might meet a gentleman that tries some shit, tries to pull some shit. However, that's going to work. All right, here we go. I just finished Virgos. Let's see what I got for you guys. There's three. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You know, see that? Being weighed down, feeling stuck. Someone here frees themselves. And finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So what could happen was the most logical thing and the most common thing is that somebody could have been in a marriage or relationship and they feared getting divorced or breaking up because of finances. Their finances were tied. We own a house or we're married or we have kids. That shit don't fly. You can't be using that excuse forever. Because then if you find true love, they're not going to wait. I'm not going to wait while you're still with your wife. No. Nope. Strength, that's Leo. Strength is having the strength to get over some shit. Look at that. You have it twice. Seven of Swords is the fox. Deception, trying to get away with some shit. So somebody here definitely had to find the strength to divorce somebody like this or get themselves out of that shit or stop acting like this. Stop being the one that's being sly and slick. What flipped? Ah, oh, the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could it have been a water sign male that tried to pull one over on you? Sure. But it could also be that he was in a relationship and someone was trying to pull something on him that was his ex. You have the Ace of Pentacles, moving in career change. Somebody here could be changing jobs or quitting because they dealt with some treachery or fuckery or fox-like energy in a work or career environment. Doesn't always have to be love. Because you even have your finances and career, right? So it could be that somebody here was dealing with some slick shit uh, in the work space and environment. Knight of Wands. Could be a one-night stand somebody has. Somebody here has a one-night stand, but then yet feels... It's like they pretended, too. Somebody here could have had a one-night stand and pretended that I didn't feel nothing, I don't want nothing, and that was deceptive, and they end up falling in love. King of Cups having all... The... See? They end up falling in love. Ace of Cups. I'm in love. But it could have been, I don't want to be in love. We just friends. We just chilling. And then they fall in love. Somebody here, <laughs> a little bit deceptive with their feelings. <laughs> because the Knight of Wands is really fast energy, right? But it can also be sexual energy, meaning they come in and out really quickly. Or it's just purely sexual. Page of Cups. Look at her. She's sad. And she wants that cup. And the cup is calling to her. It's illuminated. But something makes her feel like it's not her cup. 
So maybe it's because this person said, no, there's, there's no strings attached. I remember, pay attention to the red flag. So she was like, oh, there's red flags written all over this. But it's because a person could have been deceptive. And this, yeah, I mean, that's not the most ideal situation to be in, right? You meet a guy and he's like, oh, we're not going to fall in love. There's nothing here. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to be anything. I get that, right? But then at the same time, also, it's like, maybe that's, he wasn't looking for that. And then he ended up falling in love. And then there it is. Well, there it is. Eight of Pentacles, you could work with this person, or this is something work-related. We talked about that with the finances and career. And then the Four of Wands, see now they want to marry you. 11-11, new beginnings, they want a second chance if they fucked it up the first time, but this is also like fairy tale. 11-11, union. Sorry, something over here was itchy. Right? So it's like... you go from a one night stand so this is some of you now you go from a one night stand or it's not even a one night stand it's just a one time encounter and realize oh my god I love this person page of swords gossip, spying, doing more research and the six of cups past life soulmate knowing each other before that's why there's this strong pull and draw to them, right? Because, oh my God, two of cups. There you go. There's a strong pull. So take it how it resonates. Oh my God, 10 of cups on the bottom of the freaking deck. So 10 of cups, ace of cups, two of cups, four of wands. Wow. Let's recap all these different scenarios. So for some of you, it's meeting a person that was tied down to a particular karmic person. He's getting out of that, right? It was some treachery there or whatever. It wasn't a very nice person they were with. Some of you met somebody here and it was just maybe the both of you are on the same page. It's only going to be a hookup. And then end up, it, it's you both fall in love and now you both lying to your damn selves about that. Or it's you who fell in love and was honest from the beginning but they were like oh this ain't gonna be nothing 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 and then there's there's got to be this honesty thing coughing it up because it's a two of cups it's mutual feeling it right six of cups it's a deep soulmate connection from past lives and then four of wands ace of cups true love my cup runneth over the cup he wants to give you his cup, right? It's that kind of a thing. I want your cup. I want that cup. Somebody here that feels very deep emotions. And I think what it is is that they, they, they're not going to be able to deny it very much longer. You can only lie to yourself or each other for a certain period of time. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep lying to each other or to yourself or, or what have you. This is going to end up just boiling over. Somebody here has to cough it up. Where's my... Okay, I want to do a whole second spread of Bill and Norman. Give me one second. Let's do that and see where we're at. With the... Under the Roses Lenormand. That's what this deck is called. What do we need to know? Holy shit, you have the letter, which is documentations or correspondence, the crossroads, which is having a choice, and then the locket, something that somebody holds very dear to them. It could also be very much so that this person had kids together, they're married, right? They have some kind of contractual agreement with this person, and so whatever that is, but it's something that they hold near and dear could be children. And then the crossroads is they have a choice. There's a fork in the road now. It's this choice of going left or going right, staying or going. There could be communication coming in or going out with the letter. Somebody chooses though. The clock tower right at the nick of time and the tree spiritual growth it's like somebody here opens up awakens whatever at just the exact right time right at the midnight hour is what happens they come at the midnight hour 
or the awaken at the midnight hour it happens at the midnight hour is what i'm feeling for you guys okay one more please the key shit the doorway's open the a-okay -okay, the green light a new option something opens a door opens that you thought was closed it's crossing through a threshold there you have it there we go hope you guys enjoyed this reading i'll see you guys next month follow me on instagram xi underscore missy underscore xi and if you want to book a reading with me please check the description box below see what you want first and then email me and i'll send you an invoice for payment okay bye